Hello everyone, I'm Priya Teli. In today's video, we are going to see the Java program for uh, password reset uh, page of our quiz application. So let's see the program. Here we are going to import these four important packages. That is javax.spring.star, java.awd.event.star, java.awd.star, and java.sql.star. Here we have our class name as pass change, which implements action listener interface. Here we are going to create the objects for Spring components, which are here the Spring components which we have used are JFrame, JLabel, JPassword field, JText field, and JButton. So we have created the objects for all these components. So here we have labels like PRN, password, new password then change your password if you don't remember then retype new password so let's let me show you how it appears so here we have this change your password if you don't remember label here prn label password label new password label retype new password label and in here we have four text fields then here it is one button that is change and here this is a title that is tpo details form Initially, we have set this uh, frame dot set, is set resizable as false. That's why this maximize button is disabled. And uh, okay, let's see the program. Now, here we have the constructor. From we have divided our program into four blocks, which are create window, set location and size, add components to the frame, and action event. So we have the implementation for these functions below. So inside this create window method, we are going to set all uh, all the uh, functions uh, regarding the setting the sorry creating window, setting the title, uh, setting its size. Here we have uh, called this new JFrame that is new J, uh, JFrame constructor with the help of this frame object. So that frame will appear, and we have this set title method, and we have set the title as TPO details form. Then we have this set bounds method. Instead of set bounds, we can use set size method. Set size method takes two arguments, that is width and height. But set bounds method takes four arguments, which is x coordinate, uh, y coordinate, width and height. So here x and y coordinates um, is uh, nothing but when the uh, frame appears, the x distance will be as per mentioned, that is 50, which we have uh, mentioned, and the y, di y coordinate is 10, so distance from uh, up is 10 as we have give, mentioned these coordinates and we have the size as 850 by 850 then we have a uh, set background method so we have set it as frame dot gate contain pen dot set background and uh, here we have mentioned it as white color dot white color is class from awt package then we have frame dot gate contain pen dot set layout this, these are the important methods like, like set title, set bounds, set layout, and set visible. So set layout, we have set it as null. So null means um, it, it will use default uh, layout, which is border layout. Then we have used this set visible method. And inside this, we have written as true. So with the, if we write here as false, or if we don't write this set visible method, and uh, don't write here as true, then the frame and the components inside the frame will not be visible. Then we have the set default close operation method, which in which we have written as jframe.exit on close, so that we can close our frame when we, when we click on this cross button. If we don't uh, mention the uh, set default close operation method, then we will not be able to close this uh, frame even though we click on it many times. And we have set this, uh, we have frame.set resizable method, we have set it as false, but now, that's why this uh, maximize button is disabled. But if we write it right here as true, let's run the program. Now you can see here this uh, maximize button is enabled now. I can maximize the frame. And then we have the set location and size uh, function. Here we, are, we have called three methods for each component that is set bounds, set background and set font. So set bounds we have set the uh, location uh, that is x and y coordinates and the width and height for each component. 
then you have set the background color as color dot white and then set font method so we have set uh, font name as cambria and uh, font type as central baseline and the size as 25 for each component it is different for other components it is 18 and this is a title component title label so it is uh, set as 25 then uh, uh, similarly we will say, call it for all the all the other components but for button we are not going to uh, have this set background method as everything is same uh, we can see here the x coordinate for all these components is same only the y coordinate is varying and the x coordinate for this is different now we have this add components to frame method here we are going to add all the above mentioned components to the frame here sequence is not mandatory we are going to uh, take any sequence and it, though even though you uh, uh, specify the size and location of components but if you don't add those components to the frame then those components will not be visible or it will not appear on the frame then we have this action event method inside this we are going to add action listener to the components like button or text field so in this case we have this change button and we just want uh, some action to be done so event must or some event must occur when we click on this change button else we don't want any uh, action listener for these text fields so we are going to add just uh, add action that is action listener with the help of this add action listener method to this change button object and uh, in this it will we are going to write this this keyword because this method is inside the class which implements action listener if it is not so if we are not uh, implementing the action listener interface then we are simply we can call a uh, new action listener which is a constructor of action listener now we have this action perform method inside the action perform method we specify what event should be uh, happened when we click on the particular uh, button or the text field uh, so we, when we call this action perform method we have created the object of action event class um, then with the help of this object we are going to call this get source method so if e dot get source is equal to change button then these things we have specified that what should happen so further program is a critical program so we have taken it inside a try catch block so we are going to create the object which connection class object and this is a connection get connection method from driver manager it takes three arguments that is connection url user id sorry username and password so our, this is our connection url and here we have this host name which is in our case it is localhost here it is a port number of mysql server uh, in our case it is 3306 and this is a database name in our case it is rit then we have this username which is root and your password field is empty uh, you have to replace it here with your credentials then we have this string uh, string variables in which we have fetched the values from the text fields with the help of this get text so we have four, right now here we have four text fields so, so with the help of the objects for the these text fields uh, and this get text method we have called on these objects and with the help of that we have taken these into these string variables the values inserted into that with the help of this get text method then if we are going to com uh, compare it we are going to use it for uh, for the reference so if parent dot equals empty braces that is it means if no values are inserted into these text fields text fields and we click on the change button then it should display these messages like user id is missing password is missing new password is missing or or in case if password and the new password that is if new password and retype new password if it doesn't match then this message will be printed that is so displayed that is password doesn't match with the help of this j option pane dot show message dialog and the object it takes is null if we don't want to mention any then we simply pass null here and the message to be displayed will be uh, written into quotes then we have created the statement class, class object which is stmd uh, and we call the create statement method on this connection object to execute queries then we have this query string variable in which we have stored this query which is select everything from user this is user is a table name in which it uh, which holds the data for all users then we call this execute query method on this statement object and pass this query as an argument and the re results return 
will be taken into this uh, result set object which is rs so rs acts as a cursor it uh, so whatever the result is returned it points to the first row uh, so iterate throughout the table we have used this while loop and for the iteration we have this next method so uh, for each iteration we are going to fetch the details from prn and the password column so in my table i am having the column names as prn and password in inside this user table that is prn and password so this is case sensitive you have to mention the column names as it is inside that which reside inside the table so with the help of this get string method or as i am having all the uh, as i am having uh, the data type of all the columns as varchar so that's why i have used here get string method if in case you have uh, taken prn as integer value then you have to write there get int uh, here you have to write get int or else if you have a uh, float value or double value so for that you have to use specific methods like get float get uh, get float get double um so for in my case it all the uh, the data type of all the columns is varchar so that's why i have used get string method and inside this i have to mention i have mentioned this column names so all these values are for each iteration these values uh, from the columns are taken into the string variables that is user id and password and we are comparing with the uh, values which are inserted into our text fields so the values we have fetched inside these uh, string variables so we will just simply compare so if user id dot equals prn then we have we are going to display the message that first of all we will display that user already exist with the help of this g option pane dot show message dialog method and then we have uh, created this p statement object of prepared statement class and we call this prepare statement method on this connection object and pass the query inside this uh, prepare statement method so we have whenever this happens when it, as we have to change or modify the data we have to uh, we have to modify the password so that's why we have used this update query uh, this is also a parameterized query that's why we have uh, used prepare statement so here how we are going to write it update user this is table name update user set password is equal to question mark where prn is equal to question mark so the sequence of this question mark in that sequence only we have to write this um, we have to fetch the values from the text field so we are going to get text uh, sorry we are going to get the values with the help of this get text method from of for this um, change pass field which is the object of uh, password field and uh, this is the object of pr text field Uh, this will be the value from of the prn which is entered and this will be the value of password which which, which is which will be entered which is which will be the new password so we are going to get it with the help of get text if uh, we can use here get password method for password field else we also can use get text method and the sequence is mandatory so for password equal to password should be entered so that's why we have taken the sequence as one and for we have fetched the value from Uh, password field and then prn equal to question mark so for that we have taken this as second for the second question mark we have fetched the value for from the text field prn text field so we are going to insert these values with the help of this set string method then to execute this query we use execute update method so as this is a uh, query of for data manipulation so that's why we have used this execute update method else we use uh, execute query method then after the successful uh, update of the data we are displaying this message that is password updated successfully with the help of this g option pane dot show message dialog method then after this after this we are going to uh, set the frame visible as false with the help of this set visible method so here we have this exceptional uh, exception handling code so inside this cache block we have created the object for exception class which is ex and the, all the if in case any sql exception occurs then all the uh, info regarding the exception will be printed with this with the help of this print stack trace method so here we have this main class that is class main 3 inside this we have this main method and we have created the object for this pass change class which we, which was this above class Uh, so the constructor will be called and the program runs in this so one more thing that is uh, we have inserted here mysql connector jar uh, java jar file inside the library section of our project 
in this way it looks so let's see uh, let's try to change the password let me show you first of all we have uh, password as priya now after changing i have written here as rit let's click on the change button then it's first of all it will display that user already exist then it says that password updated successfully so let's and then after this the frame disappears now let's check here and refresh it so we are able to see that uh, priya was uh, changed and rit here we are able to see that rit is um, inserted or it is modified one more thing if you don't import mysql connector here then you can do one more thing that uh, inside your c drive inside the program files and in this java inside this lib sorry just go to this then lib then inside the ext folder you have to add this mysql connector jar file then you will not be uh, it is not required to insert into this library section but it best practice is to insert uh, jar file mysql connector jar file to the library section of our project which we have created so we have seen the working for the same uh, if you uh, liked my video please like it and subscribe my channel thank you for watching